Hello and welcome to our tutorial. We're going to do some um, hopefully fun things in this. We're going to um, blow stuff up, basically. So um, uh, we're going to do that in the game engine. So let's have a look at how we could do that. So we're going to make a wall and we're going to blow up. We're like get the wall to break into pieces when we hit it with something. So we could, you know, make bricks and stack them. Um, that would be one way of doing it. It wouldn't be terribly realistic and uh, it would be a bit boring. Um, we could uh, get a plane and go into edit mode and we could use K which is the... oh, let me turn on actually my screencast key so you can see what I'm doing. So I could press K and I could um, cut out pieces and then hit the enter key and now you know this is uh, a, a face and I can extrude that separately and make it into a separate object or go P separate by selection and cut my wall up that way and you know that would be you know, a way of doing it and it'd be quite um, uh, labor intensive so instead what we're going to do is we are going to uh, make a cube I'm going to go SY.2, so skinny enough. And we're going to go SX3 and SZ2, so it's a wall. GZ2. I'm going to make a ground plane for the bits of the wall to eventually fall upon. So there's my wall. I'm going to uh, unwrap it. Go U, um, Smart UV Project. And then over here, I am going to go to the UV image editor. There are all the different bits. I'm going to uh, open an image called wall on my desktop. And here is my wall. Now, they're not, it's not terribly well uh, distributed, this uh, image. So we'll first of all give it a material. So we'll use the default material called rename it wall. And we were, we'll add a, take the specularity off it, and we'll go to textures and we'll use an image. We'll rename this wall as well. And load in the image. And then set the UV coordinates to be, well, the coordinates to be UV. And then we'll turn on geometry, just for, so we have a bit of um, normal mapping. I'm going to very quickly jump into object mode. I'm going to move this light forward so we can see it. And go back into edit mode and let's see what we've got. So I'm going to select this face here. So that should be. Um, we'll move that to there. We'll make it skinnier and longer. And that one should be the same. and we'll make it nice and big so we get lots of detail on it we'll do the same here okay so we didn't need to do that but it'll make it look a little bit better when we're finished all right so um, before we move um, I'm just going to turn on GLSL for to use the graphics card Call it wall. before we go any further we're going to need we're going to use this uh, tool here called cell fracture now you're not going to have that on your toolbar so how do you turn that on? So you go File, User Preferences, and type in Cell. And now you have to have this Add-on um, uh, tab selected. That's what's selected by default, I think. Type in the word Cell, and it'll give you this here. And you just tick this box where my mouse is. So Disable Add-on. So if I click it now, I'll turn it off. Um, if I you know, once the tick is in the box it's turned on then you can go save your user settings and off you go then this button will appear now if I very simply now just use it I go cell fracture I get these huge number of settings let's not worry about any of them and let's hit OK 
and you know it's done something and I can go to layer 2 here and it's made me a new wall and it has very helpfully cut the wall into four pieces and that's it so that's not very good so what we want to do is we want to cut the wall up into lots of pieces and then we can hit it with something but before we do that we need to um, change the attributes of the wall so I need to go into the blender game engine because if we're going to break it into pieces all of the pieces will inherit the settings of the wall so if the wall is not set up and then we end up with 50 pieces uh, we're gonna have to um, change the setting of all 50 so we don't want to do that and there we go so logic editor it's gonna use uh, some logic we haven't done used before so I'm gonna say uh, always um, I'm going to go to edit object link these together I'm going to say always dynamics suspend dynamics so turn off the physics of this object suspend its dynamics then the physics tab I'm going to make it a rigid body I'm not going to do well actually I'll make it a rigid body with a triangle mesh so it's got an accurate physics then over here I'm gonna say on collision and uh, we'll give it we'll say bullet. So when it gets hit by a bullet, edit object, dynamics, and restore dynamics. So always suspend the dynamics, which are what's over here, so suspend the physics. So it won't behave like it's a rigid body, it won't fall under the weight of gravity. But when it's hit by something, when it's hit by a bullet, restore its dynamics, so bring it back to being a rigid body, and then all the individual pieces we make will fall to the ground. So we need to do that now before we make the individual pieces, otherwise we'll have a big job on our hands. So let's go on. Now this cell fracture tool works a couple of different ways, uh, but the way that we're going to work on it is again with a tool set we've not used before, which is called the grease pencil. So this is the grease pencil here. Um, and the grease pencil allows you to draw in the viewport um, as if you were in Photoshop or you know, so you have a pencil and you can draw. So I'm gonna tell it I don't want to draw in the scene, I want to draw on an object. And it's the object that's selected I want to draw on. And then I want to tell it to draw on the surface of the object I have selected. So then what I do is I'm gonna hit draw and then I can draw. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to draw a circle. And if you can imagine the bullet's going to go through this circle, um, this will be where most of the detail is f in terms of the smaller pieces that get destroyed. Or, like, so when it breaks up, so there'll be smaller pieces here in the middle. Um, now, obviously, we won't know in our game what exact part of the wall is going to be hit. So. You know this is not necessarily logical in terms of how we are drawing but you can draw any pattern you want just keep in mind the more complicated the pattern you, you know you may tax your machine if your machine's not good enough so that drawing is on the surface of the wall now if I click on another object it'll disappear but that doesn't mean it's gone it just means that when I click back on the object the grease pencil will appear obviously it won't appear in the game engine or maybe not obviously but it won't <laughs> appear in the game engine now we go back to my toolbar and I'm going to hit cell fracture. The only thing I'm going to change here is I'm going to change grease pencil. So I'm going to tell it instead of just cutting the wall in four pieces, cut the wall based on the pattern that I've drawn. And it will make sort of a web based pattern, a Veroni pattern based on where um, these circles are. So I'm going to hit grease pencil. That's the only change I need to make. And then I'm going to hit OK. And what you'll see happen here in the background is this plugin work out how many pieces to break the wall into. Now the really nice part of this is that when we look at the, the other wall on layer 2 now, these are all its pieces. So I'm just going to very quickly click out here and go add lamp, uh, point lamp. So it looks like our wall on layer 1. 
um, now it's lit differently obviously but um, so but each of these individual pieces it, they ha it hasn't it, like it has auto UV'd these so it knows what part of the UV map to give each of these pieces so let's take this wall here and we're gonna move it to layer 1 before we do that let's uh, delete this wall Actually, let's not delete it. Let's just move it to layer three. So we're not going to use it to be conservative. And we're going to call this save as. We'll call it um, uh, explode wall. And we'll put that on my desktop so I can find it later. There we go. So now we're going to go to layer two. I'm going to select all this. And I'm going to go M for move to layer one. I'm going to press one. And here I am. Um, so now what I want to do is over here I'm going to create. Um, let's create an empty. Um, it's going to fire uh, a missile, or it's going to fire something at this wall. Um, so now let's make our our bullet. So we'll go add mesh cube. And we'll scale it down. And I'm not re I'm not going to give this materials or anything. I'm just going to apply the scale though. So Shift A, or sorry, Control A, and I'm going to call it um, bullet. And what's the important part here is not that it's called bullet, is that it is dynamic, and it will give a collision around bounds box, but. We have said only collapse the wall when it's hit with an object with the property bullet. So actually, let's we'll fire it at it without the property and see what it does, and we'll fire it at it um, with the property and see what it does. So let's go back to my empty here and let's go uh, keyboard input. Uh, so this will be to fire the bullet. We'll go space bar, and then we're going to add an object. So add object, add uh, bullet. That's what we call this, isn't it? Yeah, bullet. So add bullet, and we're going to give it a velocity, a, a positive velocity on y. So give a velocity save three, and then connect these together, and we'll go p. Uh, we'll save this first. We'll go p into the game engine, and that's not meant to happen. Okay, so let's have a look at what happened there. So let's select this. So these have not inherited um, all of the physics I wanted them to have. So I'm very upset. So I'm going to take this top one here and I'm going to set up um, my physics. So I'm going to go uh, always edit object. Dynamics, suspend dynamics. So we're going to always do that. Then we're going to go uh, on collision uh, with bullet. And we're going to uh, go edit object, dynamics, restore dynamics. Okay, so that is the properties of this one piece. Now here's a, a quick trick. So I select everything, I'm gonna deselect the floor and that and that and that. And then I'm gonna right click on this um object up here, which we've just put the um physics onto. And we are going to say um I haven't done this in a while now, so game and we're going to say uh, copy logic bricks and so it's going to say if you read it here it says copy logic bricks to other selected objects so from the active object to the other selected objects so I'm click on that and now hopefully each of these objects yeah, has all of that logic on it but not the ground cool so I have um, saved myself 
a tremendous amount of work. So let's go back into this game engine. We'll see in wireframe now mode for now. So we move P. And my bullet is full. Okay. Uh, missing a few bits here. So uh, to fire this bullet, this bullet can't be on this active scene level. So we'll, we'll put this on. We'll put it on level two. And this is going to. And I have not deselected my empty, so <laughs> I've copied my logic here. So forgive me here, I'm going to have to uh, put the logic in again. But it wasn't difficult logic, so we're going to go um, spacebar for fire, and uh, we're going to go edit object, um, add the bullet, and we set a velocity of 3, I think, on the y axis positively, and link the two of them together. Very good. So P into the game engine and fire my bullet. Okay, so 3 is not a big enough velocity, so let's give it 30. And we'll go P and spacebar, and we hit the wall and we fall. However, if we go to layer number 2, and select this, and we give it a property, and we call it bullet. And then we go back to layer 1, and we go P and then spacebar we have blown a hole in the wall. So let's do that with the lights turned on and see what it looks like. So P into the game engine and spacebar. Okay, and we've hit those pieces and they've fallen out of the wall. Um, <coughs> if I were to take this and move it and then go P spacebar, we can knock a hole in the wall over here and then obviously if this is your character and moving around and aiming when we fire at the wall we only destroy the part of the wall that we look at or that we hit so um, this isn't exactly the Unreal Game Engine or Unity so we're not um, doing crazy destructive uh, physics but if you did have a particular um, section in your game where you wanted to break down through a wall or break a hole through something this is a, a very interesting and uh, very usable uh, technique it's quite quick to set it up all right so um that's it for now